So the movie begins and we are shown an FBI agent, who had come to arrest a dangerous gang. But when he comes there, there were corpses everywhere. The face of that man is not shown, who had killed everyone here. Now the shooter points his gun at the FBI agent too. And now he wanted to kill the FBI agent too, but does not kill and leaves him alive. We are shown a small child, whose name was Christian. He came to the doctor with his parents. Christian actually had autism. This is a disease in which a person, can neither talk to anyone by looking into the eyes, and self-confidence is also very low. That is, that person cannot believe himself, that what is right and what is wrong. But Christian was very good at math calculations. He solved the most difficult questions in seconds. The doctor looks at Christian and says, that you guys leave him here with me. Only then I will be able to treat Christian. But his dad was not at all ready to leave him here. But Christian's mom doesn't want that. She says we should leave Christian here, so that he can be treated. Here we see Christian making a puzzle. A part of the puzzle was missing, because of which he starts screaming like crazy and was saying strange words. Seeing Christian's condition, everyone gets worried. Then a child comes up, who is also a patient of autism like him. When she gives Christian a piece of that puzzle, he comes to peace by taking it. Christian had another specialty. Whatever work he started, he did not get peace until he completed it. And as time goes by, he grows up. And he had become a very good accountant. An old couple was sitting next to him, because they were in a lot of trouble. Their financial condition was not good, and they had to pay a lot of tax. Christian tells them a way to pay very little tax. They both were very happy, and invite Christian to their house. They say our farm is very big, so you come there. You will have a lot of fun. Most of the people there come to do gun practice. You also come. Saying this, they left from there. And now we are shown the head of the FBI. A girl comes to the head. Her name was Medina. She came to the head for a job. The head says to her, I have read about you. You are very good. Wherever you have worked, you have done very well. Now he asks Medina about her criminal records, on which she does not give any answer. Medina was quiet. Then the head shows Medina her crime file and says, see how many people you have killed. You have also been to jail. Hearing this, Medina was about to leave from there. The head says, wait. If I want, I will not tell anything to anyone. In return, you will have to work with me. He now shows Medina a picture of a man, in which only half of his face was visible. The head says, everyone, knows this man by the name of the accountant. He mostly works with criminals. He hides their black money from the government. He also helps them in money laundering. I want you to find this man, for whom you have a month's time. Otherwise, you will lose your job. Medina was ready to work with him after hearing this. After this, Christian is shown to us. After eating food, he takes a wooden rod, and starts massaging his legs hard, which was hurting him. Christian did all this on purpose with himself. He remembers his past when he was young, and his mother left him because of his illness. Because she was very upset with him. Christian's father tried to stop his mother a lot, but she did not stop. Seeing this, Christian started hurting himself. Then his father took care of him. After this, the story comes to Christian again, who was remembering all this and hurting himself. After this, he goes to the farm of the same old couple, who had invited him. There he was practicing his aiming. And here we find out that Christian was a very good sniper. Now he comes to a secret place, where he had kept a lot of expensive weapons. There were also very good, beautiful and expensive paintings. He also had a lot of money, that too in the currency of different countries. Why and how did Christian have all this? So this is where the story goes in the past. When Christian was in jail, he met a man there, who was a very good accountant. He used to work for all the big people. He taught Christian everything in the jail. And since then, whatever he had done with the big people, he got all this. Now because Christian was very smart, he learned everything very quickly. One day Christian gets a call from a girl, who tells him that many people are starting to doubt you. You now choose normal people for yourself, with whom you will work. Christian tells her that I will take care of this. Now he goes to his next client, who had a very big robotic company. He used to make parts of robots. He thinks that someone is stealing money from his company, and he wanted to find out about it. When Christian listens to him, he says, Okay, I am ready to help you. I will start my work in the morning. There we see Medina, who was trying to find the same accountant, but she did not know anything about him. Now we are shown a man Brax, who was known by the name of Hitman. He was very dangerous. He was threatening a man by making him sit in a car. The next day, Christian reaches the company where he was supposed to work. As soon as he goes there, 
He meets a girl there who was an accountant, of the same robotic company. She tells him that first I found out, that someone is stealing money from our company, but I could not find out about these things. She hoped that she would work with Christian, but he refuses and says, sorry, I work alone. So now that accountant girl left from there. There Medina came to a conference. That's when she gets a call from her company, who tells her that the pictures she sent them, they have found a video in which, a similar looking man is killing everyone. There Christian had started his work there. He starts reading all the accounts in the company. Here Medina was trying to match the audio of that accountant, because she had found his voice. He was reading these words strangely. So Medina finds out that whoever this man is, he has an autism disease. Christian had started his work in the company. He had calculated on the windows and doors, and found out, where the money was going from the company. Now the accountant tells this to the girl, he says, yes, you were right, money is really being stolen from the company. And that man, in the name of such a company, transfers the money, whose name is not on the list of companies. That's when the owner of the company comes there. She asks Christian, did you find out who that man is? He says, no, but give me a little more time. I will find out about that man soon. On the other side, we are shown Brex, who had come to the house of another, shareholder of such a robotic company, and forces that man to take an insulin injection. He says, look, if you don't take this injection, I'll kill you. After that, your wife will not get any money for insurance. If you kill yourself, your wife will get a lot of money. That man is afraid of Brax and injects himself. After which the man died. The next morning when Christian comes to the company, he sees that someone was erasing all his calculations. Then the same shareholder of this company, comes here, who brought Christian to this company. And says, our shareholder has killed himself. We think he was stealing money from the company. So the case is clear. The solution is there. So now you have no work. You can take your fees and leave. But Christian was used to doing everything. He explains a lot to the shareholder of that company. But he doesn't agree. And that's why Christian came back to his house. After which, after a while, he took his car and left. Then we can see, another car was following him. Christian comes to the same farm, where he was practicing gun aiming. From here, he remembers some of his past. When he and his brother used to practice martial arts, his dad taught them everything in the world, that they should not be left behind. When Christian was practicing, on the farm of the old couple, two goons come there, who enter the old couple's house, and tell them to go out and kill Christian. When a goon was bringing the old woman out, Christian saw them and killed a goon. Then the other goon got angry. That's why he was going to put the old couple in the car, and shoot them and go from there. Then Christian shoots his gun from behind. He had now caught the other goon and asks him, tell me who sent you to kill me here. The goon says that I don't know that person. I was just told your name, and the accountant of the reporting company Dana. As soon as Christian hears about Dana, he goes to save her. There, Dana, who was going to her room in the hotel, was surrounded by people who just wanted to kill her. But Christian had also reached there. He was slowly coming up the stairs. Now a man in the room attacks Dana, but Dana attacks him. She hits the stove stand on his face and goes and hides in the washroom. Before the man kills her, Christian had come there. He was killing everyone one by one. He killed everyone there. Now he saves Dana and brings her to the same secret place where he had kept everything. When Dana sees everything, she is surprised. She thinks that how can an accountant have so much? But she didn't know that Christian, works for the world's biggest criminals. Dina realized that he is a trained man. There, Medina gets a call from the agency, which tells about that man that he is mentally ill. After that, Christian also brought Dana to a hotel. She asks him that how did you learn all this and how. He says that my dad had taught me everything since childhood, so that I can save myself from any trouble. But I am a patient of autism. I can't socialize myself. That means I can't live with people. After hearing all this, Dana also tells him about herself. Christian now talks about the same robotic company, and says that whoever did corruption in the company, he again bought the company's shares with the same money. After that, the company started going into profit again, and this was a way to whitewash black money. After that, Christian goes to another shareholder's house of the same company. He saw Brax coming out of his house. When he goes to the shareholder's house, he finds out that Brax has killed him. Why was he killing everyone? We will find out in the story. On the other hand, Medina also, finds out about that accountant, whose name was none other than our Christian. He had made a very small profile, in which it was written that he, works with small companies, and earns small profits from it. Medina now goes to the FBI head with all this information, 
Here Christian comes to Dana. Then he starts thinking about his past. How once his dad told him and his brother to kill those children who always bothered them. Then he and his brother beat them a lot. Thinking this, Christian writes a letter to Dana because now he wanted to leave here. He thinks that if he stays with Dana, her life can also be in danger. So he left her and went. On the other hand, Medina reached Christian's house with the FBI head. They start searching his house. They found a lot of strange things and a lot of weapons from his house. They were very surprised to see them. There were cameras everywhere in his house. These people understand that he is the same man they have been looking for. On the other hand, Brax meets a shareholder of the same robotic company who had called Christian to work in that company. Here we find out that until now all the shareholders were dying. This shareholder of this company was making them die so that he could become a single owner. And all this work was done by Brax. On the other hand, the FBI head had sent everyone out of Christian's house. Only he and Medina were left inside. The head asks Medina, why did you kill so many people? She says that they tried to forcefully sell chemical medicines to my sister, which made me angry and I killed them. Later, I was sent to jail. Medina asks, why are you after this accountant? He says that the video of the fight you have, I was also in that fight. I went to catch a very big gang, but that accountant came there and killed everyone when he pointed a gun at me. And before killing me, he asked me, am I a good dad? I said yes, I said yes, after which he left me. I could not see his face. This was the same scene that we saw in the movie. Then one day I got a call from a girl. She told me about the big criminals. One by one, I started solving the case. And this was the same girl who used to talk to Christian, that is, the accountant. That's why I wanted to find her. Then I found out about a man who used to work with very dangerous people. He was also a very big accountant. And this was the same man whom Christian found in jail. That man got released, but those people caught him and killed him. The dangerous people he used to work for. When Christian found out about this, he ran away from jail. And then he killed them all. That is, the whole scene we saw at the start of the story, it was Christian who was killing that gang. Because that gang had killed his very good friend who found him in jail. Medina asks why did he go to jail. The head tells that what I know about him so far. When his mother left him and got married again, after a while she died. When Christian went to his mother's funeral, his stepfather told him to go there. He was very angry about this, because of which he had a fight. The guard came there, and when he tried to shoot Christian, Christian's dad came in front of him who was shot, and he died there. Christian was also responsible for his death. That's why he went to jail. Medina says, I don't understand, why are you telling me all this? The head says, I am going to retire very soon, and I want you to talk to that girl later, and then you will have to solve all the cases. I trust you, you can be a good FBI agent. That's when Christian's home phone rings. When Medina picks up the phone, it was the same girl's call. She was telling about the robotic company, which was looting a lot of money. And now Medina was ready to investigate this case. On the other hand, Christian also knew everything about the shareholder of the robotic company who had killed the rest of the shareholders. He now reaches his house. He was killing everyone there. But already Brax and his associates were there. Christian had a gun. He was shooting everyone. They also shoot Christian. But it was not so easy to kill him. That's why he was hiding and killing everyone one by one. Brax sees all this on the screen. Christian has come inside the house. That's when he sat down and started reading something. Seeing this, Brax found out that all this was done by his brother. Brax understood this that Christian is his brother. Because for many years they had not met each other. Now he comes out quickly and forbids his men to shoot. He says, stop, stop. But when they don't stop, Brax kills his own man. Then he kills Christian. Because he was angry with him and says, that because of you, I lost everything. My mom, dad. Christian was not saying anything to him, because he knew that his brother was very angry with him. Christian was stopping his brother a lot, but he didn't stop. And that's why he kills him now. They both sat in one place. Brax asks Christian everything. That's when the same shareholder came there for whom Brax used to work. He comes and asks Brax, haven't you killed him yet? Christian takes his gun and shoots his head. With this, the shareholder died. Christian now tells his brother that I didn't come to you, because there are very dangerous people in the world behind me. That's why I didn't want to put you in trouble. And I don't want you to be in any danger. Brax says, I am in danger. You may not know, my brother, I myself am a big danger. Christian now starts going from here. 
Drax asks him, if I have to meet you again, how I will find you? He says not you, I'll find you. Saying this, he left. Now we are shown a hospital, where mentally ill children were treated. A new child had come here, he was also suffering from autism. Now that child goes to a room where he sees a girl. And this was the same girl, who had given a piece of the puzzle to Christian as a child. She had grown up. This was the same place where Christian used to give money, so the poor children can be treated. Now we see the girl's dad who was a doctor, who wanted to treat Christian, but couldn't because of his dad. He was telling some people about his daughter, that she couldn't speak. That's why a software works for her. She can make anyone understand through it. And this was the same girl, who used to tell everything to the head of the FBI. This girl was very smart. She used to work on the computer, and find out about all the criminals. She used to give all their data to the head of the FBI. And she used to tell Christian about those criminals. At the end of the story, we see Dana. She got a courier which had a very beautiful painting. And this was the same painting, that Dana had seen with Christian. She liked that painting very much. So now Christian had sent her this painting as a gift. On the other hand, Christian, with his luggage in his car, was leaving the town, because now everyone knew everything about him. Christian never wanted to tell anyone about him. And with this, the story of this film ends here.